Now, so many fashions come from America, yeah, good or bad. And the very worst, those race politics. I mean, you look there to see what's coming here. It's a matter of time. In fact, look at San Francisco. Now, that city has set up an African-American Reparations Advisory Committee, which has now said that every black resident of the city should get $5 million of reparations for all the bad treatment and discrimination they or their ancestors have ever faced, even though California never was a slave state. Joining me from Los Angeles is filmmaker and commentator Armie Horowitz. Armie, thanks for your time again. Always great to talk to you. Listen, $5 million a piece, even to black millionaires, uh, people are doing quite all right. How did this uh, commission uh, work this out? Yeah, so by the way, I should say uh, welcome to snowy Los Angeles. We're actually snowed here for the first time since I kid you not, I took my driving test <laughs> all those many years ago. But, you know, it's it's a really fascinating thing when you dig into um, a, how they came up with the number, and, and why. So this really wasn't about, according to them, about reparations from slavery, and as terrible as that is, to do, to do that. Um, but this is more about current discrimination that black people are facing and to pay them back for discrimination um, that they face from institutional basis, according to them. And... Um, yeah, and, and it basically it's five million dollars. God, could you think of something more patronizing than saying to a black person, you know, you need to put your hand out and have the white man continue to give you money? What, what's what's a worse feeling than that? It's and it's it really reinforces this destructive cycle of poverty by saying that it's more important for you to have your hand out than to work hard and to build it for yourself. Um, and that's exactly what they're they're doing here. Isn't it? I mean, if you are against discrimination, what about the discrimination against the white San Francisco residents who have to then pay uh, people of a different race more money than a lot of the whites themselves will ever see in their lifetime, purely on the grounds that they're white, even if they've never discriminated against anyone in their life. I mean, that has to be a discriminatory policy then. I wonder who's going to compensate them. Yeah, you know, and also what's so funny about it is, I'm sorry, so that will, because this is about ongoing racial discrimination. So that means racism is over once we give the $5 million? Or oh, this is going to be an ongoing thing because presumably they will continue to be discriminated against by the white infrastructure. So therefore, are we going to continue to give them money? Because that's their logic. That's the extension of their logic. So I don't know how this works. This doesn't work because um, the left only has first stage thinking. They just do what feels right, what feels good. And that's exactly what this is, is to make them feel better.